Joining me right now is the Las Vegas mayor, Carolyn Goodman. Mayor, good to have you on this program, and our condolences to you and all of the people of Las Vegas this morning. Thank you so much. It's been a very challenging time, but I must tell you, our first responders and our law enforcement, we have been practicing for a long, long time. We are an extremely safe place. Our conventions have enjoyed wonderful times here, and we are not dwelling on this miscreant, sick, demented human being who did this and took 59 innocent lives, and now we still have 527 that are hospitalized fighting through it. It's one sick, sick human being, and it's up to the research and law enforcement and authorities right. to look into him. I will never dignify, even by remembering his name, because it's about the people we've lost, each of whom was so innocent, and right. coming here for a grand time that we know how to do here in Las Vegas. And so it is. It's been challenging. We've had such support and offers of help coming in from around the country, even from abroad. Yeah. But our people who live here love this community and love offering the hospitality that we're known for. And we're embracing each other, but we know these 59 wonderful people who are no longer here. Uh, all their families, yeah. and we're getting condolences from everywhere. The president had such graciousness in his words. We're so appreciative of that and the support that we're getting from Washington, from everywhere. Let me, let I mean, me ask everybody's you. up all night delivering food, doing. You're right. I mean, the, the, the country has yes. come together to, to try to do as much as possible for the people of Las Vegas and, of course, for the victims' families. Let me ask you, Mayor Goodman, I mean, when you see the fact that this guy was able to transport 23 guns to his room at, you know, at the Mandalay Bay Resort, uh, do you think about changes that you'd like to see in some of the, the, the hotels on the Strip? I mean, could it be that that could have been avoided if, if you had metal detectors in all of the hotels? I recognize this is hard, but is that where we are right now, Mayor? Well, to answer the first part of your question, we have so many entertainers and specialty people coming in here that bring their equipment with them. So to have people with numerous bags or large bags coming in, that is not unusual for us. And truly what we need to get out of this is not to handcuff society. We need to remain free and be able to enjoy our day-to-day -day lives and be productive, caring, embracing people. And so it's up to the ownerships, MGMC, Caesars Entertainment, all our great hotel venues here in the resort corridor and here downtown um, to make those determinations. I hope they don't do that. Why do we punish everyone for the sickness of one or two people is beyond me. It's crippled the world. It's absolutely crippled the world. I want to be free. I want to li live, live my life, and everybody else deserves to live their lives being productive, caring, and involved human beings. So I hope they don't go doing that. But I do have an idea at some point that I will share with them to help just anybody who has a question once um, they have brought their bags in. So what, what, what's your this, idea? this, in fact, was car. And, you know, people travel. Bill, people, pardon? What is your idea? Um, it's more like a wand, you know, that I the see. idea is that the people who do the room maintenance um, would come in, just have a wand, not to invade the privacy of the individual, but specific to uh, firearms or explosives or those materials, that they would just be able to wand, and it could be done at the front desk, every piece of equipment and every suitcase and everything that people bring in. No, that sounds, and so, that, yeah, but, that sounds... You know, when you look at this, and I've lived in this... No. Go ahead. But I've lived in this town for 55 years, and it's a phenomenal place to be. Our convention business, tourism, it's, you know, the entertainment, the food, so much going on. But these first responders that you were talking about and talking about New York, 
these are well-trained professionals. And of course, we had so many of our law enforcement out for the event that had been ongoing. 22,000 people, that's a lot of people in an outdoor venue. But our law enforcement, our first responders, oh my gosh, how professionally and quickly they got people um, into special carriage and over to our trauma unit and then to the other hospitals. Um, that was the overwhelming piece. And then the response of our community, I went home last night quite late and they were still people, just normal people yeah. with a rental van delivering water, delivering food to the hospitals and the families. It is the most fabulous community, so diverse, we're as diverse as any municipality yeah. in the world. Well, people, uh, people, yeah, you're right. and, people and love backgrounds it. And, and, and it's just they're caring. They love it and they're proud of this community. And they want their and we freedoms. will not be defined by this man. They, we will they not want their be freedoms. I mean that's the point, right? They will I mean, demand people, their freedom. They demand their freedom. Let right. me ask you, Mayor, are you seeing more threats uh, over the last few years uh, than usual in Las Vegas? Are there threats in terms of terrorism that you can tell us about? <laughs> Well, you know, what I'm hearing, and I always go to the authorities because people say silly things and inaccurate things when they don't have the defined answer. Um, you know we have Creech and Nellis here, a big part of our local uh, uh, economy here, as well as our, our family. We're very embracing of Nellis and Creech. And yet we have 350,000 tourists coming in every week, which comes to last year, I think, about 43 million tourists and that includes we have a huge convention business and yet we have the best restaurants and so we we do see and we do hear but we leave that to law enforcement and the um, the military to tell us what's going on and then they alert us at, in government appropriately so we can handle it most of us have been to the uh, federal emergency management training which I did six years ago and uh, telling you what you do in a terrorist or a single attacker shooter um, situation and we practice and this community is as safe as there can possibly be hoped for you saw it and how our first responders and our law enforcement handled this entire activity and the doctors and the nurses I was shocked when I got there at one o'clock in the morning right. to our number one trauma unit I couldn't believe how quickly our community responded. Everybody, no matter whether they'd just gotten off of work, they turned right around and came back. Yeah. And this has nothing to do with just that one trauma unit. All the hospitals, they were just exploding with all their people coming in, but knowing what to do. They didn't have to reinvent this. We were trained for this, and it is remarkable. Yeah, Mayor Goodman, it's good to have you on the program this morning. But I really do want to concentrate on the... We're thinking of you and, you and all of the people uh, as we I watch hope we the concentrate. recovery efforts. Final word, okay. real quick. Thank you. I just hope that yeah. we concentrate on these beautiful 59 and innocent people. Yes. Thank you so much.